Empress on the bottom of the deck that I will be using for the reading on the split. We have the King of Wands in reverse. Uh, this could also be the Queen of Wands. Let me take a look. Yeah, this is the Queen of Wands. So this is a Queen of Wands in reverse. So this is someone very stank, very nasty. I see that you here are in a very beautiful energy, the divine feminine energy, very grounded, balanced, in a line, very powerful, master manifester, uh, someone who knows their worth and value. Um, I see here judgment, so someone is wanting to return, um, but I feel that there's some resistance, or maybe someone trying to control something, or being controlled by someone. Maybe there's a mistress, which is mistress. Someone's being stressed out by a mistress, by some uh, karmic. I see here the uh, king of wands now. Uh, this could be the emperor. Let me see. So this is, yep, this is the king of wands. And then we have the empress. And they both have their backs turned uh, to one another. So there is a sense that there's some sort of fighting, some, uh, some sort of quarrel between two uh, people because that queen and king are a suit. Uh, and I see with this Knight of Cups, maybe someone is coming in to offer uh, love to you. Uh, and this Queen of Wands uh, could have caught wind of that. Um, and so now there's, you know, they're at odds. I do feel like there's uh, karma. There's some sort of karmic lesson. Karma is playing a part. Uh, someone's going to receive karma, I feel, as well. So with this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Cups is on their way in. Uh, the Knight of Cups is someone very charming. Um, this is someone very emotionally um, vested. So they will, you know, make their way in to show uh, interest, to be very charming, uh, to court you. They may ask you to go out on a date or whatever. But I do feel like there's some karma uh, connected to this connection or there's something that could have come out. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords. Someone is up in their head uh, thinking about what may have transpired in the past. Um, I see the star card here. So this star card is showing me that there's a sense that someone is kind of like ruminating, pining. Um, this is like uh, nostalgia, thinking of someone at night um, suffering from insomnia, uh, maybe going over and over in their head, thinking about someone that they now see as wish fulfillment. I see here that you've been healing. Uh, and as you've been healing, you've been growing. Uh, you've been, you know, literally um, reaching a level of self mastery. Uh, because I do see here there's uh, this bird that's taking off. Uh, so I feel someone sees you now as wish fulfillment, but they also see that you are very, uh, very grounded. Um, you're a co-creator. Uh, so you could be in the spotlight or maybe you're getting a lot of attention at this time. Uh, I do feel like you are communicating and connecting to your angels, your ancestors, sending up prayers, petitions, just being very positive, very hopeful uh, with, um, you know, whatever it is you could be dealing with in your life. Um, I do feel someone wants to return um, this is someone who has taken some sort of risk and now they may have to return uh, to apologize because maybe the risk they took, um, it wasn't uh, well calculated. Uh, we did see that they were at odds with another person. So maybe they allowed their lusts. Um, they allowed, you know, something very uh, surface level to, you know, move them in a particular direction. And now there's some sort of regret, shame remorse, agonizing. Uh, so let's see what else we have for our beloved collective. What else is coming in for the collective? And spirit of love and light. What's coming in for the collective? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the moon. So whatever secrets that were being hidden, I feel like they're going to be exposed uh, because this is... Um, you know, showing that there was a lot of things that you may have known. Maybe someone's been hiding their feelings, hiding their emotions. Uh, and this is something that you are, you know, this, this is going to be exposed. This is something that's going to be uh, revealed to you. Um, this is also about trusting your own intuition. Maybe you have been um, feeling, you know, and it's 444 on the clock. So maybe you've been feeling like something is coming in. You're on the precipice of something new after heartbreak. I feel like you've been healing. Uh, you're looking back in awareness at certain things that may have, you know, um, 
that may have unfolded. Uh, and I see here that you, you know, discovered a lot of lies, a lot of secrets. Maybe this is someone else's energy where they realized a connection they were in uh, was full of lies, full of deception. Um, I feel like they could have been with someone that could have given them um, a lot of turmoil, a lot of frustration and the same healing that you have had to do. This person uh, is now having to uh, also heal themselves. This could be why they're kind of like pining and ruminating, um, having a lot of regrets at this time. So what's coming in for our beloved collective? All right. Thank you, spirit. And so we have the strength card here. So I do feel, and this isn't the strength card, pardon me, this is the uh, sun card. So this is, uh, you know, you got the sun and the moon. So I feel like, you know, the sun is eclipsing the moon. So whatever was hidden has been revealed. As I said, there's some sort of, sort of illumination or some sort of brand new beginning start, new opportunity um, to go after whatever it is uh, that you want. Because now I feel like something has come to light. Uh, someone may see you as bringing a lot of sunshine in their lives. Uh, someone that they, you know, may feel like they want to move towards you. Uh, because I see the Six of Swords. So this is like someone really um, wanting to return. Pardon me, it goes this way. So it's like someone's wanting to return or someone's coming to pay you a visit uh, because maybe they're uh, choosing to leave a relationship that could have been very toxic because this is the Nine of Swords. So they've been up in their head a lot. And I feel like a lot of their thoughts are thinking of you, um, you know, just reminiscing, trying to figure out, you know, the best approach to come towards you. Um, and I see here with the Ten of Cups here. So this is beautiful. You got the Ten of Cups. So this is someone who feels like you are literally like um, someone who could provide like emotional fulfillment, uh, contentment, joy, happiness. They feel like they could have um, complete bliss. Uh, this is a connection that is, you know, truly happy, uh, happy house, happy spouse, happily ever after. Um, and they also feel like you ground them. You make them feel uh, like I'm, I'm hearing you make me feel brand new. And so this is the sun again, and you have the sun here. So this is the second time the sun has shown up. So there, there is a sense that you bring happiness, um, you know, to this person's life, or they may see you as a ray of sunlight, uh, someone who just radiates love and light. Um, and I feel like they will be traveling to see you because the train is going by. So there could be distance between you and this person. I feel like this person could have been hiding um, these feelings, these emotions, or could have been even, you know, um, deceiving themselves, trying to deny these feelings. But there's just, you know, the strong connection, the strong uh, chemistry. And I feel like they will take action to come towards you. They're trying to find balance. Uh, they're trying to find uh, the right approach. As I said, they could be breaking free from a connection because we did see the uh, king and the the queen, um, you know, with both of their, you know, they had their backs turned to one another. So it's as if they've checked out of a connection or checked out of the situation. And now they're looking towards, uh, you, uh, because you t appear to be like some sort of wish fulfillment. And they see that you are very emotionally, um, intelligent, balanced, uh, very wise, you know, a natural healer. Um, they see you as someone that is very connected, um, master manifester you may have very beautiful hair they may love your hair they may love to uh just look at you might they may love your body uh this person does dream about you a lot i feel like they're also watching you and kind of agonizing um you know in silence like they're suffering in silence but this is the illumination the epiphany the aha and this is them wanting to come toward you so it's been taking them a little minute to, to make their move, to bust a move, because this is the type of person that plans, prepare, prepares, because they invest for long-term commitment. They're not there to just play. They're not there to hit it and quit it. They're not there just for fun. They want to invest. Uh, they want to build. They want to, you know, provide. Uh, they want that support system. And this is something that this person has already pondered, and they've already come to this conclusion or this epiphany. So they don't rush in like the Knight of Wands, Cups, or Swords. This person is uh, also just kind of kind of smoothly galloping their way in. It's almost the same energy as that Knight of Pentacles, you know, just very steady, slow and steady uh, wins the race. But they're coming in not only with this cup of love, but they're also coming in 
to, you know, invest. You know, this is someone that could see your worth, see your value. They could have been juggling in the past in two minds. Uh, maybe they were dealing with a lot of responsibility, work, home, family, um, business, you know, finances. And, you know, as I said, they could be distanced, but I do feel like their emotions are taking over and there's just something they cannot push down any longer because it's like you just stick out in their head. Uh, maybe everything they do, it reminds them of you. Uh, and I feel like you're picking up on their uh, energy um, intuitively, energetically. Um, you're just picking up on that vibration. They could be sending you messages telepathically or intuitively. You could be having a lot of dreams about this person or this person could really be dreaming about you so much so that they could just see your face, you know, it's very lucid dreams. Um, and they just waking up with these epiphanies. See that they see you as someone that is like wish fulfillment, someone who's worked very hard, someone who's very stable, independent, self-sufficient. This is like that pre emperor status. So it's like you have planted seeds and you've watched your hard work, your labor, um, is paying off. And it's like, you are literally, um, in a place where you need for nothing. Uh, and this is very attractive. You know, this is like I said, that pre emperor status. So you're, you're seen as very regal, um, seen as that royalty, uh, 1111. So this person feels like you are, uh, that divine feminine, that divine masculine, uh, someone that they can absolutely invest in. And maybe in the past, this person was trying to juggle, um, you in another situation or just juggle you with other third party, um, Entities. It could have been a job. It could have been their business. It could have been their family, their children, their friends. Uh, but I do feel like now it's like, you know, as I said, with this high priestess energy, I feel like you're picking up on someone's energy and you're picking up on the fact that, you know, this is someone who wants to uh, find balance, who's trying to get things in order. Uh, before they make a move towards you. Um, I feel like if someone has been juggling, you may have discovered those secrets. If someone was trying to juggle you and another person uh, and they never exposed that or was forthcoming with that information. And I feel like you knew um, it's because, you know, you are that high priestess energy. Uh, you've also been really, really, uh, you know, psychic, very intuitive. I feel like, you know, after discovering some sort of secret, you may have made it your business to really pull back emotionally from trying to, you know, make connections with people. I feel like you really just went within. Uh, you're still in this queen energy or this king energy, regardless of the gender. And this just speaks to self-mastery. Um, but this also speaks to, you know, cause she's looking towards, uh, the past. So it's as if there's a lot of hurt and pain associated with a past connection on both parts, because I do feel like, you know, as you're kind of looking back in awareness, this person's also kind of stuck in their thoughts. It's like, uh, imprisonment of the mind. So there's a lot of mind fuckery. Like I said, uh, this person could be suffering from insomnia, waking up in cold sweats, uh, with thoughts of you. And maybe they're just kind of going to your social media platforms. Maybe you have, um, you know, a YouTube, a TikTok, a Twitter. Uh, this person is just kind of watching you on those platforms and they just see you in this, this light. They see you very attractive 1313 that's 44 four. so they do see you as very balanced very grounded in alignment um and you know they also see you as wish fulfillment because that 44 reduces to eight uh so i do feel this person does see you as someone who is very um successful um and as i said just you just radiate a sense of like power and you're very uh psychically uh strong intuitive um, you could be like an oracle or someone who's just highly, highly intuitive. So you could just pick up on energy uh, very easily. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages. So why is this uh, Knight of Cups here for our beloved collective divine spirit? Thank you. So we have the Knight of Swords. So someone's coming to you with the truth. You know, this is someone that wants to clear the air. This is someone that's definitely going to speak a truth. They're ready to communicate. Um, not only are they going to offer their cup of love, but they're going to be very honest, very forthcoming. I feel like this is someone who's very intelligent. Um, and, th but this person is, is like, they don't cut to the chase, you know, they, they don't shoot the shit. They're like, they cut straight to the chase, you know, so they're not going to sit around and, and, and blow smoke up your ass. Like they're going to be very honest. Um, you know, because this is someone very intelligent and very intuitive, same as you. I feel like with the six of pentacles, this person could have a lot of regret and remorse because maybe they were trying to breadcrumb you along. Maybe you was just one of many. They may have had you in a rotation. Uh, and I feel like this did not work out in their favor because maybe you walked away. 
um, and created boundaries and space. And now they're feeling regret and remorse because they are kind of like agonizing, um, not having you here. Uh, they treated you like you was just an option. And now they're realizing that you are, you know, the main course. Um, so we see here with this Ace of Swords, this is like cutting through the bullshit. This is truly clarity. Um, someone not only seeing the truth, but someone wanting to speak the truth and also clear the air and extend some sort of olive branch uh, to bring peace. I feel like someone sees you in your true light. They see you uh, in your authenticity. They see you uh, as that, you know, that, that alchemist as that magician, someone that co-creates, like I said, knows how to transmute pain and turn it into power. Um, someone very creative, someone who creates the potions and elixirs to life, someone who knows how to utilize all of the elements to manifest their desires. Um, and this person is very clear. Uh, some of you all could l truly be coming up with some really powerful, um, you know, business ideas at this time, uh, working towards new business endeavors. Maybe you're getting a lot of downloads, a lot of epiphanies. I feel like you've also cut yourself free from people, places, and things that didn't serve you. So there was a great purge um, that you would had to release, um, you know, of the people that were uh, definitely, um, you know, not vibrating on your frequency. So let's go ahead. Why is the star card here for the collective? Divine Spirit of Love and Light. Why is the star card here? Thank you. See that wheel of fortune? So things have absolutely turned in your favor. I feel like there was a turning point, but I also feel like this was something destined. So whatever you went through, it was meant for you to heal. You know, it was meant for you to grow from that experience. But it's also showing that, you know, things are turning around in your favor. And there's great fortune from whatever this is that you are uh, co-creating with Source. Whatever this creative uh, endeavor is that you are manifesting or... Um, that you are um, birthing, I feel like it's going to generate some sort of great fortune, wish fulfillment. I do feel like there's also um, something destined that has uh, taken place, not only in your life, but something destined that is coming in, uh, such as a wish fulfillment, as a blessing, some sort of miracle, an answered prayer. Um, and we have the Three of Cups. So this could be you reuniting with someone from your past, uh, someone that could potentially have cancer in their chart, water in their chart, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I see Aquarius, I see um, Gemini, Libra, I see, um, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Sag, I see everybody here, Leo, uh, but I do feel like there's some sort of reunion or wish fulfillment, someone's returning, um, and this is someone that could have been hiding their feelings and emotions, but also someone that communicates uh, telepathically, someone who's also very intuitive, um, also, you know, a seer or a psychic or an oracle, a magi, a wizard. Um, so why is the moon here for our beloved collective? So there's a lot of obsessive thoughts. There was a lot of things happening behind the scenes. Um, that you didn't know about. There was a lot of drinking, drugs, sex addictions, incubus, succubus, energy vampires. Uh, this is parasites. This is leeches. Uh, this is someone who was keeping a lot of secrets, trying to keep you bound, stuck, and stagnated. Or maybe this is someone who was feeling that way in a relationship or a marital circumstance that they may have been bound to. Um, I see here with this uh, fool that this is someone that wants to take that leap of faith because they now see the light, they now have the clarity, they now know what they want, and they see that they have a lot of happiness and joy when you're in their lives opposed from when you are not in it. I feel like things are very gloomy, very dark when you're not there. Um, and I feel like this is something this person privately feels like they hide these feelings and these emotions hide what they've been experiencing going through. They felt very stuck and stagnant in a relationship. Like they have some sort of codependency with someone. Maybe this person has a lot of drinking or drug addictions, smoking a lot of weed, popping pills, drinking a lot, maybe even just sexual addictions where they're just watching pornography and, um, masturbating all hours of the night. Like just, just somebody who has a lot of, of, um, a lot of um, addictions, um, but I do see here with this Queen of Swords, it feels as if you have, uh, you know, cut someone off 
uh, due to their flightiness, due to their impulsivity, due to their unreliability. I feel like you saw the light. Um, maybe you were, you know, as I said, um, unclear as to what this person may have had going on. And I feel like you moved away uh, from someone. You created boundaries and space. Um, and now that you are in this Queen of Swords energy, uh, you don't take too kindly to anyone insulting your intelligence. Uh, so I feel like you are going to be very mindful as to who you allow in, but you will give someone an opportunity to speak their truth. So what I do see here is the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords are both here on the deck. Uh, and we also have this Page of Cups. So this person may feel, um, like I said, um, you know, like they want a new start. They want to come in, you know, perhaps with an apology, with an extension of an apology. Uh, but this is also wanting to... Um, you know, build a connection, build, you know, cultivate a connection with you or a relationship. I feel that both of you are going to be very honest, very transparent. Uh, and I feel because you're gesturing, it's like you're letting this person that could have, uh, cause I feel like, you know, with this feminine energy, she's like waving like, okay, well, what do you got to say? And so the, ma you know, this masculine energy is going to meet that same energy. So with both of the swords up, I do feel this is saying that there is going to be um, some communication. Uh, there's going to be clarity. And I feel like justice is here. So things are going to be handled fairly and justly. I feel like if you were, um, you know, operating and function, functioning righteously and justly, there's going to be a just outcome. Things are going to be balanced out. I also feel there's some sort of truth. Uh, maybe someone is going to be honest about a connection. Like I said, maybe they were married and now there's uh, going to be a dissolution of a marriage. Maybe someone is finally realizing that they've been in a toxic connection, a codependent relationship, because this could speak to codependency, not just on drugs and drinking, but um, also just in a per connection, not realizing your worth. Both of these people can release themselves from those chains uh, because there's more than enough space to pull those chains from over their head. So this requires, um, you know, accountability. This requires, uh, you know, a sense of knowing, uh, you know, your strengths, you know, knowing uh, your capabilities. So this is, you know, you have to do your shadow work. You have to not be controlled. Um, so with this justice here underneath that, the page of swords. So there's a lot of watching. Someone could be truly just be kind of like watching, plotting, planning, uh, you know, how to come in, strategizing, um, just really trying to be calculating. Uh, they do watch you, as I said, because they do see you as a star. They see you in the spotlight, see you getting a lot of attention at this time. And this person's bottom line, is the Ten of Cups with you. Emotional fulfillment, contentment, joy, peace, happiness, family. Uh, but you could be coming off very guarded. Um, and you could be guarded because you felt like you gave someone opportunity after opportunity and they just took advantage. And it led to nothing. It led to nowhere. And part of that was because, you know, they were giving to multiple people. And so after you discovered that you was just one of many options and this person wasn't necessarily building with you, uh, you chose to go on about your business and you're starting to see some, you know, results all on your own. Um, but I do feel like, you know, there's a victory when you have conversation with this person because they absolutely feel left out in the cold, abandoned, uh, because you did what you had to do to take care of yourselves. So with this, um, you know, the seven of wands, this is you standing your ground. This is you not backing down. And this is you ultimately saying, look, I know my worth and value and I'm not putting up with the nonsense. So let's go ahead. We're going to get some more messages. So the queen of pentacles, this is you knowing your worth and value. This is you being independent, self-sufficient, self-reliant. And this is someone seeing your worth and value, seeing you as someone very domestic, very self-made, someone that's a boss. 2323 was on the clock when I was talking about this queen of pentacles. So I do feel like this is someone that you've had like some sort of painful ending, but this person does see you now. Um, you know, he's looking at this globe. So it's like they see things very crystal, crystal clear. Um, they could have been stuck at that fork in the road, confused and conflicted, but now they see things very crystal, crystal clear and they want to come towards you. Um, they're trying to muster up the strength, the courage, the wisdom to come towards you because they see you as someone that doesn't really, um, want for anything. You're very independent right now. Um, and you know, maybe they just want to heal this connection. Um, they want to offer love because they do have a lot of love for you. They see you as someone very strong willed. Okay. So why is this Knight of Cups and this King of Swords here for the collective divine spirit? Thank you. So what we have here is the Ten of Pentacles. 
So this person does want, you know, that happily ever after. This is someone that is willing to invest, someone that does see you as, you know, that person they can build with, that they can, you know, be that, have that support system, that family, that nucleus, uh, someone that grounds them. This is someone that sees you as the end all be all. Um, and we have this Knight of Cups here again. So this person does, you know, they're up in their head with how can they uh, rectify the situation? Like how do they come in after knowing that they betrayed, they lied, they stole, um, they was deceitful. You know, this is someone that's like stuck in their head. Like, how do I come towards, uh, you know, this person? How do I come towards my person? Um, and so they're just going to come, you know, they're going to come very chivalrous and they're going to be very honest. Um, they are very guarded themselves. They're wearing a lot of armor. Um, but I do feel like they're being encouraged by spirit, by the divine. Uh, they know they've put you through a lot, but they're willing to face it because I do see this mountain. So it's like they know that and they're willing to face it because they do desire it. And with this three of wands, they're trying to manifest a positive outcome uh, because they do see you as someone worthy. Um, they do see you as worth it. Uh, so with this, this star card, uh, they're trying to manifest you. This is someone planning, preparing. This is like that ready, set, go energy, the three of wands to me. And, you know, whatever fork in the road they could have been stuck in, I feel like they're taking this staff and they're moving passionately towards what they desire. Um, so why is this star and the wheel of fortune here for the collective divine spirit of love and light? Why is the star... And the Wheel of Fortune here for the collective. We have a message of love. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. And we have the Hierophant. So this person's end goal is to, you know, truly come towards you because they have marriage in mind. I feel like this person is seeking wise counsel, as I said, uh, because they may see you as, you know, wifey material. So they could literally be going to the elders in the family, speaking to the elder gentlemen or the elder women in the family, trying to figure out how to come towards you. They could also be, you know, just kind of praying and, and connecting and devoting time in front of their altars, calling upon their ancestors, their angels to guide them in the right light. But as I said, they do feel this is destined. This is a destiny type connection, a destiny type um, bond they have with you. And they, you know, maybe there were some differences, maybe spirituality, maybe ethnic background, maybe locality. Um, but I do feel like, you know, maybe even money, um, finances could have been a factor. But this is someone now that's like truly uh, trying to find a way in, seeking the keys, um, you know, to come in towards you. Uh, like I said, seeking the keys to come towards you. So this is them making a move. You know, this is them coming to travel you towards you to to express these feelings these these thoughts that they've been you know kind of like agonizing um over you know and now they're, they're making a move they're taking action just as we saw here they're taking action so they're getting out of their head and they're going to start being more active they're going to show you how they feel opposed to just living up in their head and privately feeling these things so why is the uh, moon and the devil here uh, for the collective divine spirit, why is the moon and the devil here for the love Scorpio? I said Scorpios for the beloved collective. We have the hangman. See that? So this person has really been looking at things from a different perspective. I feel like they were forced in this position. This is a sacrificial position to see exactly what you're dealing with. I feel like they've listened to their own intuition. Um, these are th secrets, lies, deception. This is toxicity. This is addictions. This is just being entangled in a whole lot of effery, um, you know, mind fuckery, gaslighting, uh, toxic energy, just people that were not truly on their frequency and vibration. And they ended it 2828. So they're looking at things now um, from a whole different vantage point, from a whole different perspective. And they're seeing things for once and for all for what they truly were. And this is not good energy. You know, a lot of lies, a lot of deception. And this is also self-imposed. So whatever they was involved in, you can see his, he's like surrounded by a puff of smoke. It was all an illusion. Um, someone was a master manipulator and someone was very controlling. Someone was very obsessive, possessive, and just toxic, as I said. And now they are finally seeing things crystal clear, having that, that sense of... Um, you know, illumination, uh, and willing to move forward towards whatever it is they desire, you know, and we're about to clarify the sun and the fool. So this is wanting to, you know, start all over again, start at that ground zero. So why is the sun and the fool here? Thank you, spirit. So 
same card came out. Someone sees things crystal clear. 29, 29, that's 11, 11. They see you as their divine feminine, divine masculine, uh, spiritual counterpart, soul connection, someone that's willing to, you know, make that move, take that leap of faith, uh, and truly go after what they want because they see the light. Um, this is someone that sees you as someone that brings a lot of sunlight, a lot of laughter. Uh, this is someone very passionate and they don't, um, stop at no, they're going to put in that time and effort. This is someone very assertive, uh, very passionate, um, and very intentional. So why is the six of wands, the queen of swords and the page of cups here for our beloved collective? Thank you. See that the five of cups, agonizing, missing, regretting, remorse, uh, you know, feeling foolish, you know, for, um, missing an opportunity, uh, and wanting to start over being stuck in two minds, uh, being unclear, you know, not seeing things for what it was. Uh, but I feel like the divine is saying, um, you know, now that you're on defense, um, you know, this is you, you know, really making sure that whoever's coming in is coming in with the right intentions. Um, you're not just going to accept someone's, uh, apology if they are, you know, if you don't see changed behavior. So it's like, you know, with this queen of swords, uh, this is someone you cannot play with her, um, intelligence. She, she will cut your head off Wu-Tang style, protect your neck. Like this is, she is truly, truly, um, not interested in dealing with anything fugazi, uh, any fraudulence. So whoever this is coming in with this apology, um, they better mean what they say and say what they mean. Because with this here, you know, this is like, you have to use head over heart, the divine is saying, um, because you know, whoever this is, they, they could literally just be someone just kind of like feeling a lot of shame, a lot of regret, but there are two cups behind this person. Um, so, you know, maybe that's an opportunity and you have the seven of swords here. So this is like self-deception, but this also could be someone coming in to finish the job, to play games, uh, to continue to manipulate, to master manipulate. But I do see here there's a victory. So I feel like if someone is playing games, you can't toy with that queen of swords. She sees everything from that aerial view, that bird's eye view, um, very intuitive, very psychic. So whoever this is or whoever these individuals that were playing games, um, you know, trying to win at all costs. I feel like now they're, you know, kind of like in this energy of, you know, watching and trying to come towards you. Uh, but there is a victory. You're going to lead uh, whatever decision you make. You're headed towards victory. There is a victorious outcome. So I do feel like you outsmart whoever these people are that were, you know, kind of plotting and planning um, on, you know, your downfall. So this Seven of Swords energy truly is, um, you know, something that you have to be mindful of. Uh, because these are people that you don't really know, you know, whenever I see hooded, uh, individuals, these are people that have been truly like hiding in plain sight. Um, people with ulterior motives, uh, you know, people trying to sabotage. So just be mindful because that could have been those haters. Um, you know, this devil energy right here, um, you know, it doesn't just go away. It's going to come back and it's going to, you know, try to blend in and, and, you know, it's literally like a, um, a shapeshifter uh, type of energy. But I do feel someone does feel a lot of remorse. And the divine is saying, use head over heart. Uh, trust what you feel. You know, this is about, you know, using your first eye um, so that you could see things very clearly. Uh, and with this crescent moon, um, I am sensing that you are trusting what you're feeling intuitively. So, you know, it, wherever it leads is where it's going to lead. Uh, but I do feel like you still got a lot of naysayers and haters. Uh, and that could be, you know, like I said, the exes who are trying to throw a monkey wrench or trying to run an interference in a connection uh, because they're a little salty. Or this could just be, you know, other people within the, uh, you know, within the connection, other friends and, you know, those third party individuals, you know, that are trying to truly like block something. But this is your reading collective. I hope the messages resonated. Uh, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so that you'll know whenever I upload. Until next time, Ashe.